everybody, it's Karen Kennedy, and today's workout, we're going to be using dumbbells, but today I have the special dumbbells, I've got the power block dumbbells because honestly they allow me to adjust the weight so that I can continue to challenge myself. So I've got my power block dumbbells here, and I'm just going to do a simple deadlift squat with the dumbbells. These ones I actually picked up the 10. I set it to the 10 pound dumbbell. And here's what I squat down. Then my hips are going back. My heels have all the weight. My knees are not going past my toes. And Tony, so I'm going to do about 15. So that was our first set of the dumbbell deadlift squat. And again, you're going to start light and work your way up and do three sets of 15 with a one minute rest in between. Let's go to the next exercise. Okay, next is the deadlift with the, with the dumbbells. And we've got the power block here. So the key is hip shoulder width apart, still put the weight in the heels. You notice how my back is about like a tabletop? You're going to do the same thing when you grab the weights. So bend the knees a little bit just to get your weights. And then start with your back's flat. And what you're imagining is you're really hinging at the hips. The back is flat. You might not be as flexible to go all the way down. However, work with what you have. Increase your weight and challenge yourself. I'm going to do 15 reps. This really hits the glutes and the hamstrings. Beginners, start with no weight or a light weight. The key is focus on the form. Back flat, engaging at the hinge of the hips. Intermediate, what you want to do is um, add a little bit more weight and advance, of course, add more. As you add more weight, if you're trying to build size, you're going to drop the number of reps. So work towards what your goal is. The key is with this one, do Work towards your three sets with one minute rest in between. Let's go to the next exercise. All right, the next move we're going to do is a single leg deadlift. And I'm going to use, you can use a dumbbell or in my case, I'm using the power block. And the great thing, in case you didn't notice, is I added another 10 pounds. I'm using 20 pounds. And um, you can go up to 70 with these things. But we're going to start with 20 today. I've been working my legs pretty hard. so. We're going to do it. We're going to start with the deadlift. I'm going to use the table here for support. <clears throat> Back leg goes out. Bend down to get it. Again, we're going to give you the slight bend in the leg. But the key is to engage that hip the entire time. 
time. Rest. Six, there's seven, there's eight. I'm feeling it. That means increasing the weight was a good idea. Not really working. You start, start to feel this too much in your lower back, you need to refocus the weight on your heel. Spread your toes out. Make sure that you've got a good ground and get that work in your hip. And tighten your abs. You shouldn't feel it in your back. advantage of having the power block. However, if you're a beginner, just start with basically getting the form right. Intermediate, work on adding reps and weight. Advanced, work on possibly lowering reps and adding more weight so you really continue to build out that butt. And again, remember, three sets with a one minute rest in between. Good luck. Okay. The next exercise is the curtsy lunge with the dumbbells. And again, I've got my power blocks. I have um, adjusted it so that I have 10 pounds on each dumbbell. And in case you don't remember the curtsy lunge from working out with me before, um, hips are shoulder width apart. Well, actually, just a smidge, smidge tighter. And you're going to curtsy. This is where we practice our grace for mobility. Or not. <laughs> Ooh, my legs are tired. So good for the glutes. I think I feel it rounder and bigger. Definitely lifted already. Last one. So, 
Just in case, you're going to do three sets with a one minute rest in between. And remember, if you're just starting off, take your time perfecting that form with the curtsy lunge. If you're intermediate, make sure you've added some weight. And finally, advanced, really challenge yourself to round out that booty. Thanks for working out.